Dara, here is the case. Young man, about 50. What will you do? Ethan? I think I'll do the proximal femur plate, removing this implant and bone grafting. With no, no, I'm talking first is the primary. This is what was done. That we'll talk a little later. Okay. Primary, I'll nail this. We'll nail it. Yeah. Only nail or a adjuvant plate with this sort of a communication which is there. Now I would add an additional Put plate. plate. Anybody else? Hello, sir. Sorry. Sir. Mr. yes. Anybody else? Okay, he, this is what was done. Leg screws and a long and a DHS. So like I said, remove, I mean, this is unlikely to succeed. It, uh, you will take it out even before it has failed. <laughs> let it fail. I would wait to let it fail. <laughs> that will be too much. We all accept this is this is going to fail. <laughs> Dilip, uh. angle blade plate 95 degree. Remove all this. Put a 95 degree angle blade plate with plenty of grafts all around. Okay, so primarily, as he said, probably Smith and Nephew, a Smith and Nephew plate or a blade plate. It would have been a better option here, and. If you want to do a nail, you can do a nail and a plate. But now, once it has now, this is what has happened. This was the, any problem do you expect? Vivek, you ko pakda hai sala, baat karta hai udar. Anyway, just see the x-ray, leg screws. I think you probably didn't see the first x-ray. Back screws, this is what it is, one month. What are the problems you expect, apart from uh, breaking it out? Too many I'm, I'm asking a pertinent question. I'm not asking about the implant failure. It is failed. Bones are there. Your lag screw, the neck can... ...going to cause you further problems. Can break, which will... Problems regarding her planning. Okay. In this is what happened. Still, anybody wants to guess? Yes. Why that, do you want to wait? That bone will become avascular because of. That bone, sir. I think early intervention is required. This is what was the CT scan. This is what was the issue. This bone. Because of the leg screw, so much of a bone was a total dead bone there. So obviously at this stage when I went down, when I took the hardware, this bone came in my hand. You can see here bone, this is the whole ear, this is the whole ear, this is the whole ear, this is the whole ear. Leg screws in such sort of a commutated fracture, I feel is a sin. There is no question of doing a leg screw here. But all, any bypass implant would have been the only option which was there here. Okay, now what? Now you can see this is why I'm putting it here. So this was the day one x-ray. This is what was, bone was removed. So there was a bone gap here. Now what? Vikash? Anybody else? Sorry. Is there a CM image after removal of this? No. Uh, after removal of implants, uh, we put a intermediary nail plus a plate and bone grafting. And bone graft. Yeah, I think there's a standard one which we do it. Yes, okay. This is what was done. Nail. Proximal, I think. I don't know what, what plate is this. Nail. Massive bone graft. Now, when you need a massive bone graft, autograft is not enough. And having done 
plenty of non-unions which has been operated upon two, three times where both Ilya Crest have been removed, graft has been removed. There was no option for me except to do an allo graft. More and more non-unions I went on doing it. I have felt it and it's my gut feeling. You need only an allo graft. Now I don't use an autograft all the time. Even if, because if you need a big graft, to fix it up with auto and uh, allo, I use only an allo graft. If finances are available, I use a BMP on it. Because I feel that in any case, autograph is never going to be good enough for a big, big gap like this. Anyway, this is what was done. Any idea? Question. While using allo, what do you use it as a structural graft or you crush it? Crush. Crush it. Because it's a allo which is available to us from Tata at the moment. Is there, is, is there an advantage with the allo with some bone uh, marrow aspiration put in or a, a, a cancellous bone graft add in on that? If for quite then some I, time, I didn't speak about only allo. Now, having done sufficient cases, success, I feel that probably in a situation like this where the autograft is not practical, allo graft alone is going to be good enough. Whether it's going to be, there are a few people who take an aspiration of the bone marrow and inject. And as I said, if available, I put in a BMP protein. But then still, I'm not sure about it. Which is hanging in there. Absolutely true. So don't get rid of this. Don't throw it in the bin. Don't throw this. This, the, the centerpiece. You feel I, I could have put it back. Yeah, it's he a, says that you use this piece as an allograft. Possible, possible. Do you expect any problems, Dena? This looks uh, alignment is good, and then with the combination like this, generally it should go on to heal because the medial support seems to be adequate enough. Ah, anybody at the back portion, how have I been able to do this by cortical? I think it's just, uh, I, we have spoken about it again and yes. again, but still some people who are not familiar, I thought I'll put it down. This by cortical 3.5 is always a 3.5 with the washer so that you can go above the nail or below the nail you will have to put it up with the drill and find out if the, you hit the nail above it, go below, you will be able to pass it. One or two screws, you will be able to pass by cortical. And a small tip here, the drill bits, special drill bits are available where the flute is only at the tip. If the flute is long, it may break if it touches the nail. Come again. Drill bits are available where the flute is not longer flute. If the longer flute is there, there are chances of breakage of the drill bit when it is slightly touched the metal. Okay. If, why did and you say, did you say washer? You can so start. 3.5 drill, I have 3.5 screw, will pass through the hole of a 4.5. Even no. if it is put oblique, okay. it will no. pass through. I've got it. So one tip to avoid breakage of uh, this drill bit is, start the hole with a K wire. Yeah. And, and then on the same track, use a drill bit after no. that. No. That is also possible. Okay, so this healed up. The only yellow graft, as I said, this is six months time, perfectly healed up. Everything is absolutely fine. Still, patient is not happy. Hi. Shortening. No pain. Perfectly walking. Shortening. <laughs> patient has a three-fourth of an inch shortening. And he has been eating my head. He is happy about the union. He is asking for a alizarav and expansion and everything. So that's the reason the thing is, in spite of the fact that you and me are very happy about this fracture, patient ka del mage more. Last few minutes which I have got, I'll show you this case. This problem was three-fourths of an inch shortening, elevation. He has read that back pain. 
He's not, he's not having a back pain. But you know, Google, he has found out <laughs> that he can have a back pain. Only about 15 days back, he phoned me up. I said, fine, these are the two, three people, Ali Zarao, you go and get it done. But then don't tell me if the knee is stiff, I'm not responsible. Okay, this was the, this is how I inherited it. Surgeon had done this osteotomy, osteopetrosis, this is how it had done. Any problem you expect. Last time I think I had shown it in Patna, so all of you were there. If you're not seen, can you, can you imagine what will happen? So the... Yes, Gurvinda, yes. So you, union is normally very, very delayed. I mean, it's a fairly valiant attempt on the surgeon that he's managed to do whatever. First, first we talk about this. Okay. So that looks united. To me, the, uh, this side, the right side looks fairly united. I yes. don't think there's an issue unless I'm missed probably up. not united. Yeah, the left is probably not united. No, I'm, I'm concentrating on this only. Well, First, we discuss about I, that. I'm a little scared that it might break there. Yeah. This is what you can see here is going up. Yes, uh, distally. Distally, as uh, not distally, tip of the screw. From there, it might fracture. This is what has happened. This is the stage I inherited. Now you see the fracture line. It's not vertical. Stay like this. How do we proceed? You know? Now these are nightmares. So I, if I get it, I'll pass it on to you. <laughs> <laughs> No, removal hey, is hey, okay. Hey, minute, hey, minute. Removal yeah. is all right. But still, I will have to get good carbon drill wires, nice, uh, fresh on table drill bits and things like that. That is taken for granted. Yeah. So, and then try to get as much of reduction as possible and then try to fix it. Because, see, now there is also a hole in a, such as, uh, yeah, it's all, there is a, not going to be any bone material over there and then try to fix it. It is difficult. I'm, I'm not going to say it is going to be so easy for me to do. And then once I get it secured, if I can it, say it is going to be in varus. So I need to make it into a valgus situation, which is going to be a very tough problem. Already there is a fractured line over there, which again I will have to go in that area only and make a wedge and then get it sorted out. I will definitely do, but it will be a hard struggle on that day. Yes, Vivek, you want to add anything? Yeah, because we have had such cases out here with us also. And so we have, will be using, I haven't used an angle blade plate, though I really used angle blade plate. I was wary that whether I'll be able to put in that okay. or not. And so I used uh, Smith Nephews, multi-log, multi-plates, which are there, the stable ones. I'll do an osteotomy at the lower part. Where the fracture is, it may not still have united out there and do a convert it into a thing and let it be. Because until unless you take care of the valve or the things out here, this has got to unite. Any talks on osteotomy? I... We have to correct we, the biomechanics. We really sir. discussed yesterday that you don't have to fully get a valgus, but still, fairly big amount of chunk you'll have to take. Oh, I, I would just convert it into a thing. Have all my uh, four or five screws in the top going and holding the neck as much as possible. Long plate out here. Maybe uh, with osteoporosis, when I discussed it with them, everyone in the hip masters, I got the second case and then I started putting in a double plating and dual plating. Are you convinced that. that the necessarily foreign, they get this sort of a problem far more frequent than you and me get it? We are getting it, but just like this, sitting 15, 20 people sitting and discussing gives you new ideas. That was the way where the first one I did was with, <laughs> with a Sashmit nephew single plate. I used BMP also for that. The patient had come from, and he knew that only here only it could be done. And the second one, we used a dual plate with the advices and guidance of various people from where I got. This is ultimate osteotomy, which I could do it. As 
I could get some correction. So it was unless and until so much of the I went on cutting, 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 cutting till the time I felt now it is going to be stable enough. In this situation, this is how it happened. So I put up the DHS there. I would just like to ask you, sir, that at DHS, how have you put? Because that is my been we'll talk it a little later about the drilling part of it. But it was done. I'm sure you can do it also. Now, what is the fate of this? Sorry, Mandip. Okay, here. No, proximal, yeah. yeah. Yes. Here there is a good contact. Okay. Proceed. 11 months. Walking about. Well, good walking about. No problem. Again, the Dilma again more. What is the problem here? Lengthening. Lengthening. She was a young girl of about 20, 21. Lengthening. And I explained to her that probably here there is a virus. So I'll correct that into valgus and then your lengthening will be corrected. So I could carry on till the time I said this heals up. You'll have to wait for that. This you can see is healing up. Healing up. Went ahead, opposite side. Did a valgus osteotomy. And then once did a valgus osteotomy, the limb, well, that much of inequality was corrected. Patient was not bothered about the fracture which has held up, which you and me felt is very difficult. So again, the same thing, Dilma again more. This is how ultimately everything has held up. Patient is very comfortable, very happy. Still, she is feeling this limb in a little vulgus. So there is, in a, there is minimal inequality. He has reconciled to the fact. Still, Dilma again more. Thank you, friends.